it's been a little while since I've made one of these videos, but these are five books that you can get for under $100. So if you want to know what they are, you'll just have to keep watching. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my world of comic book collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today I have another one of my videos of five comics that you can get under $100. And some of these you could probably get under 50 So I have a big playlist of all of these. So if you want to see others, please check out my playlist. And also, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Please show the support. I'm sure it makes their day because 99% of the people you see on the shout-outs are people who requested them. So show them the love in the comments section. Let them know that they're appreciated. So without further ado, let's show the first book. And this one is a very easy book to acquire. This, again, these are books I told people to get years ago. But you could still get these fairly affordable right now. Of course, absolutely under $100 unless you're talking like like really high grade and graded books. So I'm not talking about those. But this is Spider-Woman issue number one. Um, this one has importance not only for the first being, you know, the number one issue. But it's a re-description um, of her origin. They changed it a little bit. Because if you know her first appearance, Marvel Spotlight 32... She basically is bald. <laughs> How you could hide that much hair under that mask is beyond me. So they changed the origin a little bit. I don't think she shoots lasers in this one. So this is a book, um, especially now that they said that Jessica Drew is going to be appearing in a comic book movie. Now, as of now, we don't know if that's her actually as a character. But that doesn't mean that that can't happen eventually. But we have confirmed that Jessica Drew is at least going to be in there. Um, I think they're probably going to have to develop that character so people get to know her first. So you might not see her initially in costume, but with all the female characters they're doing these days, it, it's just a matter of time. So this is a book you could pick up easily for under $50. Um, I bought these years ago. I paid $18 for this book, and this is probably an 8.5 range book. So again, like I always say, wait for deals. Don't just buy the first one you see. Uh, another book I bought years ago, paid $9.90 for this book. It's definitely going to be a lot more, but still going to be found under $100. This is Captain Marvel issue number one. This is the first print. Now, you could tell by the color red bar on the bottom, but there is another way to tell by the barcode. I actually have a video that talks about that, so if you want to know what that is, wait until the end. I'll put a little... Um, Thumbnail that you can click on, and it will tell you the secrets of um, how you could detect newer comics by just reading the barcode. So this one does have um, no first appearance or anything like that. It does have a, um, one of the bonus digital edition stickers. Make sure that's intact, because if you ever got it graded, it won't come back qualified, but they will mention it. Because I did have a book that had that where the sticker was removed, so you may want to check and at least ask before you purchase it, don't just assume that the person knows. But this is a book you could probably pick up for around $30 or so. Might be up to 50 at this point because of the fact that, you know, they're now starting to promote the movie. This is a book that should have been purchased a while ago. But if you get into new comics now, I mean, you can't do, you don't have a time machine. And if you do, please let me borrow it. All right. We got some Silver Age books for the last three. This is a book, in my opinion, is so undervalued, and you can get this book so cheap, I am really surprised it's not higher than it is. This is Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., issue number one, with the classic uh, Steranko cover. This book can be, go can be purchased under $100 all day. I have several copies, and just to show you, I paid $32 for this book. And this is probably a 5.5 to a 6.0 range. So the colors are amazing. It's definitely got that 60s vibe with the psychedelic kind of cover that's definitely typical of Starenko. Um, definitely a book to pick up if you can get it, especially with the number one issue. Um, a lot of the Silver Age number ones are becoming really out of people's price ranges. So this is one of the few that you could pick up. And with them actually renewing 
the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show, it's still going strong. I love that show. Um, if you haven't watched it since season one or two, it's definitely gotten ten times better. So I recommend checking it out if you haven't. But get that book if you could pick it up. Don't pay more than 100 for it. Wait for a deal. Uh, this is another one I was telling people to get a long time ago. Um, this isn't the book, but they threw in a second one as a bonus. But I only paid $15.50 for this book. This was way before they announced... Uh, well, before they announced any movie. But this... I mean, I think with the way DC's going with the Captain uh, Marvel... Well, Shazam. Um, if that one works out, I think you might see Plastic Man eventually. Because... Before you find out who's today's surprise subscriber shout out, come check out my new We Love Comics Proud to Be a Comic Collector t-shirt and mug. Great gift for any comic book lover and it helps to support my channel. To find them, just click right here.